Good evening, everyone. Time for another member update. So we're going to start off with the Bitcoin chart. This is really important. Um, I've just got the feeling in my bones right now, and I just want to share with you this is what I'm doing. Um, it is, in my opinion, the perfect time to swap Bitcoin for some silver. And uh, it's partly because of the serious downtrend that silver is in. I think that silver is where well, you can see that it's very close to approaching the long, long, long term trend line. Does that have to hold? No, it doesn't have to hold. We could go to $14 and uh, silver would be incredibly cheap, but it's incredibly cheap right now at 1637. So keep that number in mind. We were above $18 just, just recently. So back to the Bitcoin chart, we had a big, big drop today. Now, uh, when this started out, I saw something about the volume disturb me. Actually, it was on Bitfinex. Uh, I'm sorry, on Poloniex. And I immediately hedged everything that I had. Uh, I've been trading like crazy during these run-ups, making a lot of money trading cryptocurrencies. But uh, when I saw this start to drop, I hedged everything into Tether and uh, got partially back in it at this bottom, but I still have quite a bit in Tether. Now, I want to warn you about Tether if you're not familiar with it. Tether has broken the buck, uh, if that is the proper term to use. So Tether is a cryptocurrency that is supposed to uh, be one for one with the dollar, but it's not. So the price is quoted, it, a Tether is really worth about 91 cents. There's a long explanation that I don't have time to go into, but basically it's similar to the silver and gold ETFs or any ETFs actually that decay with time. So there's been pressure on it, even though its entire purpose was to trade one for one with a dollar to give you the ability to, to sell your Bitcoin for dollars without actually selling it for dollars. In other words, you had the ability to hedge. So when I, I hedged at about 1630 and went into Tether, when I saw a serious drop going on. But uh, so the warning is that you do not want to leave your money in Tether for a very long time at all. It's under serious doubt and uh, it is subject to decay. So it's only a short term trading strategy. Now, one of the trading strategies I have used is when I have sold my Bitcoin on Poloniex into Tether. Uh, I have gotten out of Tether by getting into some of the other cryptocurrencies slowly as I watch what happens. Um, so essentially, when you think the market is, is potentially going to crash, uh, it's a way to hedge. So you can see that some of these other cryptocurrencies like Stellar, for example, I have I picked up some of that uh, down in here, but uh, and Ripple they have uh, significant rises going on in Tether, whereas Bitcoin was down about 3 or 4%. Now it's up 1.7%. So it's a way you can hedge if you think there's a top that's in, but be very careful about it. Don't leave your money in there. But a much better idea is to swap your Bitcoin. I think probably about now is going to be the time. Swap your Bitcoin for physical silver because the ratios between those two are just absolutely incredible. Now, if we look at the long-term chart, uh, I can't say that we are at a top, but I can say that it's looking toppy. Uh, we're in a parabolic move. Now, it could go much higher uh, based on pr prior parabolic moves. Uh, we've seen it run, well, it's not on this chart. It may be on Bitstamp you can see back here on Bitstamp that we had you know a breakout from this one into a parabolic move and it ran uh, what was that a good three or four fold so that could happen we could run three or four fold from this uh, 1152 and get that five thousand dollar price target but then again we could crash and it is looking very toppy so it is a good time to at least hedge some of your Bitcoin with physical silver. Uh, like I said, the ratio is absolutely insane. Silver is 
just in a serious downtrend and about probably about to make a new low whereas Bitcoin is probably about to make a new high. Uh, real quick over to the cryptocurrency space. Uh, oh, one more thing I want to say. Now you can sell your Bitcoin for uh, dollars and the best place to do that is Coinbase. What you have to be very careful about though is that the prices quoted on Coinbase are not always close to the prices that you see elsewhere. Um, so when I sold on Coinbase, I sold some on Coinbase today for 1620 or 1630. But for most of the day, it was priced in the 1500. So you have to you have to watch that very carefully. Uh, it's um, it's hard to determine how they're getting their price quotes. I think that they have a partnership with Bitfinex, and they're using Bitfinex to get price quotes. But I want to jump over to the uh, World Coin Index. Again, look at the market cap. You can see we're now 46 billion total market cap. Here's another view of the Bitcoin chart. But you can see here the price quotes. Uh, there's a big lack of arbitrage here. With Bitfinex at the top of the most volume at 1641, but uh, GDAX is down at 1601, Bitstamp is at 1566. The Russian exchange is all the way at 1455. Gemini, which is a new coin base, is at about 1600. And then it goes down from there. Uh, so I wanted to get to these picks. And I went through the different silver exchanges. Now, the only two that really accept Bitcoin of the ones that I like are... Uh, JM Bullion and Provident Metals and uh, those two uh, of those two there weren't really a lot of coins available on Provident with with a decent price there were some half ounce of these roosters but there, there was only like 44 of them and the Bitcoin price wasn't that good now you can see here on JM Bullion the Bitcoin price is actually the best price for a coin. It's equal to the bank wire or check price. So that's unbelievable. Uh, and you can see here, I really like this coin, the half ounce rooster uh, coming in at 1219. That's still gonna be above $24. That's gonna be $8 above spot. Well, about $7 above spot for that coin. So that's pretty spendy, but that's my top pick because I like the appreciation of the Lunar Series from Perth. But And you can see here that they have quite a few of them. I think they have thousands. Uh, they have 1,765 of them, so there's plenty of them. Uh, but another one that I really like here, I went through a lot of coins and I was trying to find one ounce, just something for a bullion play. And I couldn't really find uh, too many coins that were a decent bullion play. Uh, even the one ounce rounds were 17 to $18. Uh, the other Perth series one ounce were all about 20 bucks. So the Kookaburra one ounce was over 20 bucks. The the um, uh, Koala was 20 bucks. So that's not really a bullion play or a semi even. But this one is, and I really like this series. Now, if you go back and look at the price appreciation on this series. I think the ones I have are 2011. I have some other years, and uh, they're around 50 bucks. But you can go through the list and see how how fast these rise. Now that doesn't mean again that doesn't mean that's what the market's paying on eBay, but the these have a very good appreciation potential. So this is one of my favorites here. This is the 2017 one ounce Somali elephant. And I really like the design. I think it's fantastic. I like the price for Bitcoin. You can get, if you buy 500 or more, you can get it for $18.69. And that's going to be dropping if the uh, price of silver continues to drop. I don't know if it's going to go one for one, but you can see that's about 
a little bit over a two dollar premium uh, you pay a little bit more if you're getting a hundred or more maybe two dollars and fifty cent premium but I think that that's a fantastic deal for this coin and I think this coins gonna have a lot of appreciation potential there's a lot of these coins available you can see there's four thousand uh, 491 of them but once the year is gone back you know once it's two or three years past these become unavailable they're very rare I don't think that the mint is really high on these coins although the aftermarket demand seems to be fairly high so uh, 500 of these coins uh, that's a lot of bitcoins you might not want to do that but if you think about it it's really at current prices about you can get a hundred of these for roughly one Bitcoin so it's looking to me like it's the time now we're getting close to the time to look at swapping at least some silver uh, or some Bitcoin for silver uh, I would not say that it's time to dump all Bitcoin for silver because we just don't know how high Bitcoin can go uh, I heard the other day that there's a thousand ounces of gold in the world for every Bitcoin just think about that fact and let that sink into your head that's an amazing fact so what does that I mean if Bitcoin is actually becomes actually as popular or if the cryptocurrency space becomes as popular as gold are we talking about a thousand fold move for that are, are we talking about a million dollars for a Bitcoin uh, there have been predictions of that a lot of people have actually predicted very very high prices for Bitcoin I think there's a lot of people right now who would be shocked that uh, we're looking at over sixteen hundred dollars right now for one Bitcoin so I'm going to act on this uh, I've acted on cashing out some Bitcoin for cash on coinbase I'm going to start cashing out some Bitcoin for physical silver and uh, I just have that feeling that the time is right and we'll talk to you next time